the birthplace of European Renaissance, medieval trade and finance center, and home to world's first gelato, Florence is a paradise for history buffs. Hello everyone, and welcome to our channel. In today's video, we talk about top 10 things to do in Florence. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell icon if you are new to this channel. Here are our top 10 picks. Number 10. Ponte Vecchio. A bridge featuring an entire medieval street stretches over the Arno River, and it's the oldest stone bridge in Europe built in 1333. At first, the bridge was used by farmers, butchers, and tanners who occupied the shops along the bridge. Today you will mainly find jewelers and souvenir sellers. Ponte Vecchio is a romantic spot for both locals and tourists. On the top of Ponte Vecchio runs the Vasari Corridor, a secret passageway connecting Town Hall to the Palazzo Pitti. The corridor was built by the Medici family, the famous family who ruled Florence and supported many of the artists who were active in the city. Number 9. Piazza della Signoria One of the most prominent squares in Florence, Piazza della Signoria, is located at what was considered the political heart of Florence. The square was the site of many historical events and houses several prominent buildings and sculptures. Many events take place on Piazza della Signoria. Here's what you shouldn't miss when you're there. Palazzo della Signoria or Palazzo Vecchio, the city's historic seat of the city government. During its long history, the palace was also known under several different names, like Palazzo del Popolo, Palazzo Ducale, and Palazzo dei Priori. Fontana del Nettuno, a fountain with the statue of Duke Cosimo I at its center. The fountain was created to celebrate the maritime ambitions of the Medici family. Loggia dei Lanzi, an open-air gallery that features several prominent sculptures. Number 8. San Lorenzo Market and Mercado Central. Here you'll find everything, from a variety of authentic Italian and Florentine food, souvenirs, pottery, clothing, and other products. Florence is known for its leather production since ancient times. At San Lorenzo Market, you'll find leather bags, belts, wallets, jackets, and other leather products. The outdoor part of the San Lorenzo Market surrounding the Mercado Centrale building contains hundreds of stalls that run along several streets. To get a better deal, you can even try bargaining. Mercado Centrale is the indoor part of the market opened in 2014. It is set in a beautiful iron and glass architecture from 1874. Explore all of its levels that offer everything from local specialties to pizzerias. Number 7. Uffizi Gallery. It is one of the most important and most visited art museums in the world. The gallery is open to the public since the 16th century. What started as a place for legal and administrative offices now houses a vast collection of works of art. Before the museum, the works of art came from private collections of the Medici and were only shown to select guests. Uffizi offers the world's most extensive Renaissance art collection. The gallery is known for its collection of sculptures and paintings, ranging from the Middle Ages to the present. However, you can also admire art displays of architecture, prints and drawings, books and archives. At Uffizi, you'll be able to admire the works of Botticelli and his famous painting The Birth of Venus, paintings by Leonardo da Vinci, Michelangelo, etc. There are many other important and interesting museums in Florence worth exploring. Number 6. Gelato It was invented during the Italian Renaissance in Florence. At the court of Catherine de' Medici in Florence, an alchemist working for the Medici family was supposed to be the first person who created a gelato with fior di latte flavor. There are many famous historic gelato places where you can taste this delicious dessert, such as Vivoli. Number 5. Hospital of Innocence. A children's orphanage built in the 14th century, the Hospital of Innocence. It's an example of early Italian Renaissance architecture and is considered an architectural wonder and is Europe's oldest foundling hospital. Hospital of the Innocence is Italy's oldest public institution, 
used as a shelter for orphaned children, and continues to offer services to protect children today. The hospital houses a museum displaying the history of the building and the lives of the children who lived there. You can even explore the records of all the children who lived there in the museum's historical archive. Don't miss beautiful Piazza della Santissima Annunziata in front of the museum. Number 4. Walls of Florence and Gates to the City The impressive city walls of Florence, which protected the city from intrusions, have been rebuilt several times throughout history. Only a few parts of the wall remain intact today, and some of those that survived are the gates of the city. The San Nicolo Gate is the only gate that maintained its original height from when it was built in 1324. Walk along the walls of Florence and imagine what life was like in the old days. Much of these structures hold a lot of history, as they are sites of historical events. In the 16th century, fortifications became necessary for the defense of the city. One of the most beautiful ones is the Fortress of Belvedere. Number 3. Basilica di San Lorenzo The city's cathedral for 300 years and the oldest church in the city was consecrated in the year 393. Basilica di San Lorenzo is located at the city's main market district belonging to the San Lorenzo complex. The complex includes a museum and an underground crypt where you'll find the tomb of Cosimo de' Medici and artist Donatello. Don't miss the Medici Chapel and the Laurentian Medici Library. Number 2. Boboli Gardens Florence, if full of breathtaking gardens. One of the most beautiful ones is the Boboli Gardens. The garden is located behind the Pitti Palace, the chief residence of the rulers of Florence. This famous garden was owned by the Medici family and heralded as an example of green architecture. Its structural design had a significant influence on other courts. Walk around the gardens and explore greenery, beautiful fountains, impressive statues, and much more. The gardens are a part of the UNESCO's World Heritage Sites and usually get over one million visitors per year. Don't miss the Buontalenti Grotto, a fairy tale like cave. There are many other impressive gardens in Florence. Number 1. Piazza del Duomo Considered to be the religious center of the city, Piazza del Duomo is one of the sites that you just can't miss when you're in Florence. The square houses the city's cathedral, the Basilica of Santa Maria del Fiore completed in 1436, known as Duomo. It features a beautiful marble exterior and an impressive and the largest masonry dome in the world. Giotto's Campanile offers a panoramic view of the city. Below the cathedral is the Crypt of Santa Reparata, and across the cathedral is the Baptistery of St. John with a Byzantine mosaic depicting the Last Judgment. That's it for today's video. What are your thoughts on Florence? Let us know in the comments section below. Please share this video with more friends. Like and hit the notification bell icon so you don't miss the latest updates. See you soon!